Hello and welcome to Sledders. Now, this is a snowmobile game, and I've never checked it out before, but there is a demo available on Steam, and considering how many games on my channel that I play that are off-road related, where people in the comments are asking for snowmobiles to be added to those games, or maybe snowmobiles to get their own other focus in other games, either way, I thought this would be a really cool game to check out because it has some really cool snow fit physics that almost remind me in a way of the original Spin Tires tech demo. Now, apparently you could browse or host multiplayer games. You can customize your, um, you can customize your vehicle. You can change your character's outfit. But before we mess with any of that, we're going to jump right into the action and see what this game is like and what it's all about. So let's go ahead and click single player. And there's really only one map available right now, and it is Woodland. And we're going to, we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Now, if you do want to check this game out for yourselves, there is, again, a demo available on Steam, and it says, work in progress, drive at your own risk. Now, as you can see, by moving the stick around, we're going to shift our character's weight from one side to the other, and let's go ahead and give it some beans and see what happens. Let's go. Oh, my God. It almost sounds... Oh, no. <laughs> Oh! Well, this went really, really, really well. Um, <laughs> this went super well. So as you can see, I... Oh my god! Alright, come on. Here, let's see if we can actually get some momentum going. Now, as you can see, this is very, very physics-based. And the ground will deform underneath you. So we're gonna try and go for a little bit of a... I was going to say go for a little bit of an adventure through the trees, but we kind of already got ourselves into a horrible position. Now, depending on... Oh, come on. Come on. No! <laughs> I swear I was able to actually make it more than five feet before I started recording. Okay. Well, apparently this takes a little bit more focus than I originally thought it did. Come on. Oh, come on. Let's go. Getting this character to actually stay upright is a challenge. Oh, we found a hill. Come on. Oh, my God. This is, like, actually terrifying because of the way the physics work. You kind of get into this rhythm, but that rhythm is also very easy to lose. And, <laughs> and when you do lose it, it is, like, in dramatic fashion. Come on. You have to drive as much with the throttle as you do with the... Oh! As you do with the steering. And did I mention that this is a work in progress game? Okay. Now, again, the reason why I wanted to actually play this and highlight it here on the channel is because while it definitely is very work in progress, it kind of makes me excited for what we might see with a snowmobile game later on down the line because there are so many people in my comment section that are always asking for snowmobiles to be added to other games. Everything from mobile games like Off-Road Outlaws all the way up to, like, say, for example, future entries in the Runner series. And I personally think that it was almost like a big mistake for them to not include snowmobiles in Snow Runner because it's such a snow-focused game anyway that, like, snow-focused vehicles like snowmobiles Ow! would have been a incredible addition to the game. Now, let me know in the comments down below if you like the proof of concept here. Again, I know there's going to be people that'll probably say, well, this looks, you know, like, why is there this glitch or this bug or this glitch? Again, this is very, like, early development, work in progress. So do keep that in mind as you watch this footage. Now you can reset the snow if it kind of gets into a state where it's just so torn up that you want to reset it. Um, but that is not, at least for me at the moment, that's not where I'm finding myself. So let's see. Come on. Can we make this turn? Come on. Is that the edge of the... Yep, that is absolutely the edge of the map. The brakes are horrible. Although, to be fair, I mean, like, you don't really have much for brakes on a snowmobile, so... Oh, there we go. I feel like that was the actual first, like, decent turn we've pulled off. 
We're ripping, though. This thing is actually legitimately fast. A hundred and almost 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, up through the trees. Which, again, did not last long. Now, if we try to actually sort of survive, um, surviving is going to be... You know, it's a lot easier to survive when there isn't a tree directly in your path. Spin it around just a hair. And then you dig. I don't understand why, like, once you start going in circles, I, like, I get why it will dig, but I don't understand why it'll dig under the snow. Now, I am sure that that is some sort of, um, like, early work in progress, not necessarily bug, but just, like, growing pains of a work in progress, um, game, a work in progress product that is, of course, not finished just yet, but, like, I love what they're doing with the physics and how it's all based on literally, ooh, wow, all right, I really messed up on that one, um, but it's all based on, like, the way you move your character's weight and, of course, turn the handlebars, but, like, turning the handlebars only helps you a tiny bit because most of it is very, very based on the actual weight of the, ooh, the weight balance of the character. Come on! I'm just trying to get out of this outcropping of trees alive. Like, that's legitimately all I'm trying to do. Turning the handlebars at high speed is kind of a death wish. I'm not going to lie. We make it up the hill. I mean, you can kind of use them to correct just a little bit. But, like, once you get stuck, it's kind of over. Can I get... No. <laughs> Apparently, your character's body will phase through trees, so keep that in mind. I wonder if there's no way that that mountain in the distance is accessible. Come on. Come on. I just want to reliably get somewhere. Can we do that? I love the snow deformation. The snow deformation looks amazing. That's the biggest thing that I keep coming back to is that the actual deformation of the snow looks so realistic and so genuine, like even in this super early state. Oh, come on. Here we go. Well, we were headed up the hill. I think that might actually be somewhere around the starting area. Oh, no. What? I thought we were going to dig again. Like, I legitimately thought we were going to dig down into the ground again, but apparently we were able to recover ourselves. Come on. Ow. Goodbye, I guess. There's definitely a learning curve here, but I think the more you play the game, obviously, the more you'll get accustomed to that learning curve. I want to give... Whoa! Whoa! There's a massive shelf over there. I did not see that before. Ooh. Okay, I don't think that would have been survivable, but like in the current context, um, we, what? I'm gonna give it extremely like low amounts of throttle. And well, actually that seems to get you into trouble if you do that. It's almost like it really wants to, like it wants you to give it heavy amounts of throttle and that's like the only way you can get out of trouble will you go left please and preferably without turning the handlebars okay so let's ease it along now there is a bit of a hill up in the distance oh my god easy god when you get into the like the thicker, deeper snow. It's just, it's just over. It is so over once you get into the deep stuff. I want to get up onto that shelf because I want to, not that. I want to get up onto the shelf because I really want to see if we can jump off of the shelf, but I don't even know if I'm able to get up there without putting myself in a scenario where I'm basically beached. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. 
It is so easy to beat yourself. Come on. Left. Now right. Oh, the snow is so deep. It's just like barely climbable. I almost feel like I couldn't even go up there if I wanted to. One more try. I'll probably get stuck, but one more try. Whoa! Come on. All right, the trees seem a little thinner over here. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. We're going the right direction. We're about half throttle right now. Directly through the trees. There's the shelf. Well, I mean, kind of. We're on it! I mean, we're kind of on it. Can we get you back up right again? Oh, not really. Oh, no! <laughs> and that was that. Well, I mean, we made it further than I thought we were going to make it. And if y'all think this game has promise, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. They do have a release date scheduled for December, but I don't know if that's... That was actually a pretty decent landing. But again, they have a release date on Steam scheduled for September... Or not September, December. And I don't know. Do you think it's going to be a game you'll be interested in playing? Do you think it's going to be something that is just kind of there and not really interesting to you personally but let me know any of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below and i will see y'all next time